Welcome to SBCU. Today we want to talk about the technology side of the Turbo Levo FSR. We're going to talk about how the bike works, the motor, the battery, and then how the bike communicates with the Mission Control app. Little known fact, there's a power meter built into every Turbo Levo. It's awesome. And it's there for a reason. These are pedal assist bikes. There is no throttle to make you go. You have to pedal in order for the Levo to go anywhere. And there's two main important parts. There's the torque sensor inside the crank that communicates with the bike, but there's also a speed sensor. The bike has to sense torque and speed in order for the motor to help you at all. The speed sensor on the Turbo Levo is very unique. We want it to be very safe, so it's not something that could ever break or fall off. You'll notice it's integrated into the chainstay near the rear rotor, and that communicates with a magnet on there. A very safe, secure place, so that when you're moving, the bike knows you're going, and it's giving you power to help you along. The motor is a very important part of the Turbo Levo FSR. We were looking for a totally unique design that was lightweight, powerful, and would work with a great handling machine, nice and low to the ground. Some of the details, though, are very important. One is it is a very lightweight motor. At 3.4 kilograms, it's one of the lightest motors on the market, but it's also quite powerful. It's a 250 nominal watt motor that puts out 530 peak watts and 90 newton meters of torque. So very powerful, but also very smooth. It's a custom software built into this. So when you apply power to the pedals, it won't just go taken off on you. It's a very smooth transition. It ramps up power and it just gives you more power to conquer the trails out there. The motor is completely sealed from the elements so you can ride through rocks, dirt, mud, water, no problem at all. It's gonna to continue to be very silent. It's a belt driven motor and continue to be very powerful. For the Levo line, we have three different options in batteries. You have a 420 watt hour, a 460 watt hour, and the big dog 504 watt hour batteries. What that means is how much stored energy they, they have. The bigger the number, the more energy you have, the farther you can ride your Turbo Levo. We wanted the battery to be super secure inside the frame because a quiet bike is a happy bike. So you'll notice one bolt towards the top, and then the battery cams into the bottom of the frame. So it locks into place, rattle free, no problems at all on the trail. You'll notice three buttons on the non-drive side of your battery surrounded by 10 LEDs. These LEDs are there to indicate roughly how much power you have. When all 10 are lit up, you have 100% battery. When only two are lit up, it's about 20% battery left. So you can judge how much juice is left inside. The three buttons, you have the power button in the middle. This is what turns the bike on and off. And then you have a plus and a minus. This is how you change between turbo, trail, and eco mode. When you need to charge the battery, you can leave it on or take the battery off. It charges in three and a half hours, and then you're ready to go ride again. The battery is Bluetooth enabled. This is how it communicates with your Mission Control app right there on your phone. That's the technology side of the Turbo Levo FSR. We talked about how the bike works, the motor, the battery, and the Bluetooth connection to the Mission Control app. Pedal Assist is a growing side of the mountain bike community. Please check with your local trail network or authorities to make sure that these are legal on your trails. Finally, go to one of your local specialized retailers, check one out.